In a city where the night is just another shade of day, my story begins. It's a narrative not just of change but of metamorphosis, not just of seeking but finding, not merely of battling but embracing. My journey, woven intricately with threads of cross-dressing and defiance of societal norms, is one of discovering and affirming my true identity in the most unexpected of ways. The story takes off on a mild evening, under the canopy of a city that thrives on endless buzz and lights. It was here, in a quaint little cafe tucked away from the prying eyes of the world, that I found myself face to face with her, my ex, now my dearest friend. Time had sculpted us anew, yet the familiarity of her smile broke through the years like sunlight through clouds. We were once lovers, tangled in the throes of youthful passion, but now we sat across each other as confidants, bound by a deeper, more platonic love. As we sipped our coffee, the conversation meandered from the trivial to the profound, landing softly on the lives we had carved out post our separation. She shared tales of her new partner, a man whose love for her was both a balm and a beacon. His embrace of her entirety, she said, was like being seen for the first time. I listened, my heart swelling with happiness for her, and when my turn came, I found myself echoing her sentiment. I spoke of my own partner, a man whose strength and tenderness had become my sanctuary. Together, we had ventured on a journey akin to a honeymoon, exploring not just the physical landscapes of the country, but the emotional landscapes of our beings. He had lavished me with love, made me feel cherished in the daylight, and adored in the depth of night. As the conversation deepened, a bridge of memories transported me back to a time when the very notion of embracing femininity felt like an affront to my ego. I had been ensnared in the societal dictates of masculinity, blind to the beauty and liberation that lay beyond. Yet, as I sat there, recounting my tale of transformation, I couldn't help but marvel at the irony of life. The person who once scoffed at the idea of donning anything remotely feminine was now basking in the joy of his true self, a journey ignited and nurtured by the woman sitting across me. Our reunion became a mirror, reflecting the arduous yet rewarding path from denial to acceptance, from fear to love. It was a testament to the unpredictable courses our lives can take, and the incredible transformations we can undergo when love, both from others and for oneself, guides our way. As we parted that evening, a sense of gratitude enveloped me. Grateful for the love that had freed me, for the friendship that had sustained me, and for the journey ahead, still unwritten but full of promise. This was not just my story of becoming who I was meant to be, it was a beacon for anyone yearning to find their place in the world, beyond the shadows of norms and expectations. The past, they say, is a tapestry of moments that shape us, and mine was no exception. As I walked away from the cafe that evening, the city's pulsating light seemed to usher me into a corridor of reflection, leading me back to a chapter of my life marked by struggle and revelation. It was a period when the weight of societal expectations felt like chains around my wrists, dictating who I should be, how I should act, and what I should desire. Masculinity, as defined by the world around me, was a rigid fortress, and I, its unwilling inhabitant. Yet, beneath the facade of conformity, lay a tumult of questions and yearnings, a silent rebellion against the very norms I outwardly embraced. Enter her, my girlfriend at the time, the catalyst of my transformation. She was like a gust of wind that stirs the still waters, challenging me to look beyond the horizon of my self-imposed limitations. One evening, as we lay tangled in the aftermath of love, she whispered a suggestion, seemingly inconsequential, yet it was to become the key that unlocked the door I had never dared to open. Why not explore? She mused, her eyes alight with a mix of curiosity and tenderness. Why not discover all the ways you can express yourself? Her proposal was not just about the clothes one wears, but about challenging the very essence of what it meant to be me. At first, the idea seemed absurd, a direct assault on the ego I had meticulously built. My initial reaction was resistance, a reflexive defense against what I perceived as a threat to my identity. Yet, her suggestion planted a seed of curiosity that refused to be quelled. As days turned into weeks, 
Her gentle nudging continued, each time a bit more persuasive, a bit more enticing. The first real test came on a night that seemed no different from any other. With a mix of apprehension and intrigue, I allowed her to drape her satin nightdress over me. The fabric against my skin was a revelation, a softness so profound that it seemed to dissolve the barriers I had built around my heart. In that moment, I was no longer the man society expected me to be. I was simply a human, reveling in the sensation of something that felt inexplicably right. The days that followed were a journey of exploration, each step forward a dance between elation and fear, acceptance and doubt. Her clothes, once mere fabrics, became symbols of liberation, each piece allowing me to see reflections of a self I had never known. From the comforting embrace of her dresses to the elegance of a sari that she once lovingly wrapped around me, every garment was a piece of the puzzle that was my true identity. Looking back, those moments of transformation were not just about changing clothes, but about shedding layers of pretense about daring to confront the truth of who I was meant to be. It was a passage marked by vulnerability and strength, of unlearning and relearning, guided by the love of a woman who saw in me the potential for a happiness unconfined by the dictates of the world. That chapter of my life, though fraught with challenges, was the crucible in which my true self was forged. It was a testament to the power of love, not just as a source of comfort, but as a force of change, pushing me to embrace the totality of my being beyond the narrow confines of societal expectations. As I moved forward in my journey, I carried with me the lessons of those transformative days, a reminder that the path to self-discovery is often illuminated by the love and acceptance we find in the most unexpected places. That fateful night, marked by the whisper of satin against skin, was more than a mere moment of curiosity. It was the genesis of my metamorphosis. In the dim light of our shared room, as I slipped into the satin nightdress at her behest, a veil lifted from my eyes. The fabric, cool and whisper-soft, clung to my body in a gentle embrace, whispering secrets of a world I had denied myself. It was as if, for the first time, I was touching a truth about myself that had been buried deep beneath layers of societal expectations and personal fears. The comfort I found in that simple piece of clothing was unlike anything I had known. It wasn't just the physical sensation of the fabric against my skin, but the emotional release it facilitated. The nightdress became a symbol, a tangible representation of the identity I had suppressed in my quest to conform to a version of masculinity that never truly fit. In that moment, Wearing that nightdress, I felt a peace and authenticity that was alarmingly new, yet deeply familiar. This experience was the catalyst for a profound internal dialogue about gender and self-expression. It challenged the walls I had built around my understanding of who I was supposed to be. The realization dawned on me that the essence of who I am could not, and should not, be constrained by the traditional binary of male and female. Instead, it was something to be explored, embraced, and expressed in ways that felt true to me, regardless of societal norms. Encouraged by her support and my newfound revelations, I began to question everything I had previously accepted about gender roles and expression. The curiosity that the satin nightdress had awakened in me grew into a compelling urge to explore further. Each piece of her clothing that I tried on, each garment that wrapped around me, not only offered new sensations of comfort and beauty, but also chipped away at the monolithic statue of masculinity I had been sculpted into. This period of exploration was not without its struggles. The dichotomy between the societal image of manhood and my own burgeoning identity created a tumult of emotions within me. There were moments of doubt, fear of rejection, and internal conflict. Yet, with each step forward, with every new experience of dressing and expressing myself in ways that felt more aligned with my true self, those fears began to dissolve. The joy and liberation that came from accepting and expressing my authentic self started to outweigh the apprehension. The journey of exploration that began with wearing a satin nightdress one night evolved into a comprehensive examination of my identity. It was a journey marked by moments of vulnerability, courage, and profound self-discovery. 
This turning point did not merely alter my relationship with clothing, it transformed my relationship with myself. It paved the way for a deeper understanding of my identity, beyond the confines of traditional gender norms, and set the stage for the more significant transformations that were yet to come. In this exploration, I found not just comfort and identity, but a voice that had been silenced for too long. A voice that now, more than ever, yearned to speak its truth, to live openly and authentically. This was the beginning of my true journey, a path not dictated by societal expectations, but one crafted by the truths I discovered within myself, one satin nightdress at a time. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the path of self-discovery unfolded before me with an array of colors and textures I had never dared to imagine. The simple act of wearing a satin nightdress that one night had ignited a journey of exploration and acceptance that now felt as natural to me as breathing. With each day, I found myself more eager to embrace the myriad aspects of femininity that had once seemed so foreign and off-limits. The joy of wearing soft, feminine clothes became a daily celebration of my newfound identity. The silkiness of blouses, the rustle of skirts, and the elegance of dresses not only adorned my body, but also soothed my soul. Each garment was a piece of the puzzle that was my true self, fitting together to reveal a picture of who I was meant to be. The physical comfort of these clothes was matched only by the emotional comfort they brought. In them, I found a peace and a sense of belonging that had eluded me for so long. But my journey of embracing femininity extended beyond the wardrobe. Makeup and piercings became new territories to explore, each addition a stroke of paint on the canvas of my identity. Learning to apply makeup was like learning a new language, one that allowed me to express the nuances of my inner world on the canvas of my face. The transformation each morning was not just physical, but deeply emotional, as I saw the reflection of my true self emerge in the mirror. Piercings added another dimension to my transformation. The decision to get my ears pierced was both exhilarating and symbolic. It was a physical manifestation of the changes within me, a mark of my commitment to living authentically. Each piece of jewelry I chose was a testament to my journey, a reminder of the steps I had taken towards self-acceptance and love. This period of embracing my new self was a testament to the transformative power of love, both the love I received from those around me and the love I learned to give myself. My then-girlfriend, now my dearest friend, played a pivotal role in this journey. Her unwavering support and understanding provided a safe space for me to explore and express my identity. It was her love that first encouraged me to question the confines of my assigned gender. And it was her love that supported me as I navigated the complexities of this transformation. Self-acceptance did not come overnight, nor did it come without its share of struggles. There were moments of doubt, fear, and loneliness as I grappled with the implications of my transformation on my relationships and my place in the world. Yet, with each step forward, with each act of embracing my true self, those fears began to dissipate. I discovered a strength within me that I never knew I had, a resilience forged in the fires of self-discovery. Embracing my new self was not just about adopting a feminine persona, it was about shedding the layers of pretense and fear that had held me back. It was about recognizing that my worth was not tied to societal expectations, but to my own sense of self. This journey of transformation was a rebirth, a chance to live my life not as a reflection of what others expected me to be, but as a true expression of my own unique identity. In this chapter of my life, I learned that true freedom comes from within. It comes from the courage to question, the strength to explore, and the wisdom to embrace who you truly are. My journey of embracing femininity was just the beginning of a larger journey of self-discovery, a journey that continues to this day. It is a journey marked by love, acceptance, and the unshakable belief that we all have the right to define and express our own identities, in whatever form they may take. The chapter of my life that followed was one of courage, transformation, and an affirmation of my true self, as profound and enduring as the roots of an ancient tree. Standing at the threshold of this new beginning, 
I was buoyed by an overwhelming sense of support and love, especially from her, my guide through this labyrinth of change. Her understanding and unwavering belief in me served as a beacon, illuminating the path ahead. Deciding to undergo gender affirmation surgery was a monumental step, one that required not just physical readiness, but an immense emotional resolve. It was a decision that did not come lightly. Each step towards this transition was accompanied by a myriad of emotions, hope, fear, anticipation, and a deep sense of peace in knowing I was inching closer to aligning my physical self with my inner truth. The journey to this point had been one of introspection and growth, of learning to love myself in a way I had never known possible. It was a journey marked by the shedding of old skins, of societal expectations, and the embracing of a new dawn. The support of my then-girlfriend, now my closest confidant, was instrumental. She was my rock, a constant presence whose love and acceptance shone like a lighthouse through my darkest fears and doubts. Preparation for the surgery was rigorous, both physically and mentally. It required consultations with doctors, endless discussions about the implications of the procedure, and introspection about the life that awaited me on the other side of this transition. With each step, I felt a strengthening of resolve, a clarity of purpose that I had never before experienced. It was as if every step forward was a step closer to my true self, a self that had been waiting patiently for its moment to shine. The surgery itself was a watershed moment, a tangible manifestation of my journey from the person society expected me to be to the person I truly was. It was a rebirth in the most literal sense, a physical transformation that mirrored the internal metamorphosis I had undergone. The recovery process was challenging, a test of physical and emotional resilience, yet each day of healing brought with it a sense of elation, a knowledge that with every step, every moment of discomfort, I was closer to becoming who I was always meant to be. In the days, weeks, and months that followed, I found myself reflecting on the enormity of the journey. The transition was more than just a change in my physical appearance. It was an affirmation of my identity, a declaration of my truth to the world. It was a journey that had been made possible by the love and support of those closest to me, a testament to the power of understanding and acceptance. This period of transition was not just about the physical transformation, but about coming into my own, about finally feeling at peace with who I was. The surgery was a milestone, a marker of a profound journey of self-discovery and acceptance. It was a step towards aligning my outer world with my inner truth, a reconciliation of my physical self with my spiritual self. Looking back on this chapter of my life, I am filled with gratitude for the support and love that made it possible. I am humbled by the journey, by the lessons learned and the strength found. This transition was a testament to the power of love, self-love, the love of those who stood by me, and the universal love that embraces all forms of identity and expression. It was a reminder that the truest form of freedom comes from the courage to embrace who we are wholly and unapologetically. Embarking on the world of dating post-transition was akin to navigating uncharted waters, armed with a new compass of self-awareness and acceptance. This chapter of my life was imbued with a mixture of trepidation and exhilaration, a journey of seeking not just love, but understanding and acceptance. In the wake of my transition, I found myself peering into the world with fresh eyes, eyes that had seen the depths of their own soul and emerged with a new perspective. Dating, with its myriad uncertainties and vulnerabilities, now carried an additional layer of significance. It was not merely about finding companionship, but about sharing the most authentic version of myself with another, and hoping that authenticity was met with open arms. The path was not devoid of challenges. There were moments of doubt, of fearing rejection, not just for who I was, but for the journey that had shaped me. Yet, it was these very vulnerabilities that eventually led me to him, the person who would come to embody the love and acceptance I had longed for. He was someone who saw beyond the surface, who sought to understand the depths of my experiences and embraced every facet of my identity. His love was a mirror, reflecting back at me the truth of my worth, not in spite of my journey, but because of it. 
Our connection was immediate and profound, built on a foundation of mutual respect and understanding. He was not daunted by the complexities of my past, but was fascinated by the person those experiences had molded me into. With him, I felt seen in a way I had never experienced before, a feeling of coming home to a heart that understood and cherished mine with all its scars and stories. This newfound love was a beacon of hope, illuminating the possibilities that lay ahead. It marked the beginning of a new chapter, one where love was not just a promise but a reality, where acceptance was not conditional but given freely and fully. Parallel to the blossoming of this new love was the evolution of the bond between my ex-girlfriend and me. Our relationship, once defined by romantic love, had transformed into something equally profound but distinctly different. She had been my confidant, my guide, and my support through the most transformative period of my life. Now, as we navigated our separate paths, our connection deepened into a bond of unconditional love and unwavering support. Our reunion, the one that sparked this reflective journey, was a testament to the enduring nature of true connection. We were no longer the people we had been when we first met, yet the essence of what had drawn us together remained unchanged. Our love had evolved, transcending the confines of romantic attachment to become a symbol of unconditional support and acceptance. Together, we had traversed the landscapes of change, emerging on the other side not as lovers, but as pillars of support for each other. Our relationship was a reminder that love in its purest form is not bound by the labels and expectations society imposes. It is a force that adapts, grows, and thrives, celebrating the beauty of the human spirit in all its forms. This chapter of my life, marked by the finding of love and the deepening of bonds, was a reflection of the journey I had undertaken. It was a story not just of transformation, but of coming full circle, of returning to the essence of love and acceptance that had guided me through the darkest and brightest moments of my life. It was a reminder that at the heart of every journey is the quest for love, acceptance, and the freedom to be unapologetically ourselves. As I stand on the brink of this new dawn, with the tapestry of my journey unfurled behind me, I find myself immersed in a sea of reflection. Each wave brings with it memories of the challenges faced, the fears conquered, and the triumphs celebrated. My path has been one of transformation, a pilgrimage towards the sanctuary of self-identity and acceptance. It's a journey marked not just by the changing of seasons within my life, but by the blossoming of my very soul. Looking back, I see the moments of despair, the nights filled with doubt and fear, wondering if the world would ever accept me for who I truly am. These were the crucibles that tested my resolve, that forged my spirit into something stronger, more resilient. Yet, alongside these trials were moments of unparalleled joy, of love so profound it felt as though it could transcend the boundaries of time and space. I found not just myself, but a love that sees me, understands me, and embraces every shade of my being. This journey, with its highs and lows, has taught me the invaluable lesson of self-love and acceptance. It has shown me that the most profound love comes from within, from a place of true authenticity and self-acceptance. The courage to be oneself in a world that often demands conformity is the most profound act of rebellion, an assertion of one's existence on one's own terms. As I gaze into the horizon, the future stretches out before me like a blank canvas, ripe with the promise of new beginnings. I envision a world where love and acceptance are not just ideals but realities, where every soul is free to express their true identity without fear of judgment or persecution. My journey, with all its unique experiences, is but a single thread in the vast tapestry of human existence. Yet it is my hope that this thread can inspire others to weave their own stories of transformation and acceptance. The path ahead is filled with endless possibilities, not just for me, but for all who dare to dream, to love, and to live authentically. The challenges may be many, but the promise of happiness, of a life lived in full color, is a beacon that guides us forward. It is a future where love knows no bounds, where acceptance is the foundation upon which we build our lives and our communities. As I reflect on my journey, 
I am filled with gratitude for every person who has been a part of my story, for the love that has lifted me, and for the experiences that have shaped me. My heart is buoyant with hope, not just for myself but for every heart seeking its counterpart, for every soul on the journey towards self-discovery and acceptance. In this moment of reflection, I am reminded that our journeys are not just about reaching a destination, but about the lessons we learn, the love we share, and the lives we touch along the way. My journey continues, a testament to the enduring power of love and the unyielding courage of the human spirit to seek its truth, to shine brightly in a world that awaits the beauty of its light.